National Blood Donor Month, the time to thank donors and spread awareness that every three seconds someone in the United States needs blood. The Red Cross says that donations are typically down in January, so it is especially grateful for its regular donors. Two News anchor Karen Larson met with one of them, Esther Jean Morrison of Glenpool, who's making a difference by giving the gift of life. <laughs> Esther Jean Morrison is a happy, healthy 90-year-old. Her joy comes from helping others, so she delights at still being able to roll up her sleeve to donate blood. The Red Cross doesn't set any upper age limit on donors as long as they're healthy and weigh at least 110 pounds. I just like to do it. I want to help. People. Esther Jean has been giving blood for a very long time. She's been a regular donor for more than 30 years. Outbreaks of flu and frigid weather forced the cancellation of more than 450 scheduled blood drives across the country. That's resulted in blood products being distributed to hospitals as quickly as the donations come in. Jan Hale with the Red Cross says when the need is so great, the agency really relies on its regular donors like Esther Jean. There is no amount of thanks that we can say. There's no amount of gratitude we can show them because quite simply, they are the reasons why we're able to do what we do. A lot of people can't get blood because of various issues in their blood or in their health. And God has given me this good health for 90 plus years, and I want to share my blood as often as I can. Hale says that spirit of giving is making a difference by ensuring blood is available for those who need it 365 days a year. Karen Larson, 2 News works for you. She's doing a great service.